I'll start off with a piece of scrap wood that's short enough to fit inside the cabinet. For this jig, it's best to use a piece of hardwood. This is a piece of white oak that measures two inches wide, and I'll mark a line in the center. I'll put a piece of tape with the word bottom at the bottom of the jig to remind me that this always goes on the bottom of the cabinet. Measuring up from the bottom, I'll mark a line at 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 20, one inch apart. I've set up a fence on the drill press, so the hole will be drilled in the center of the board, and I'll drill a hole at each mark. Now I'll take another piece of scrap wood that measures an inch by an inch and I'll cut a piece off at an inch and a half. And now I'll drill a hole through the center. Now I'll take this quarter inch drill bit out of the drill press. Now I'll put the quarter inch drill bit into the drill, then the washer, then the stop. This will prevent the drill bit from drilling too far and possibly through the other side of the cabinet. We can test it so you can see the drill bit is through the other side of the jig, but not deep enough to go through the cabinet. And if we put the pin there, you can see that it's just deep enough. I've measured in three quarters of an inch from the front of the cabinet at the bottom of the cabinet and at the top and then I'll clamp the jig at that mark with the bottom of the jig at the bottom of the cabinet. When I drill the holes, I'll let the bit start spinning before the bit hits the plywood and that will help to prevent tear out. Okay, and that's about all there is to it. It's a really simple jig to make and one that's very useful and customizable. You can make the jig obviously at any size you need. A few things to think about. You definitely want to get good. You want to use a good sharp drill bit. I recommend Montana brand tools. They're made here in the USA and I've been using them now for a couple of years and I'll have a link to the drill bit set that this drill bit comes from. Also, you need to stagger the holes if you've got two cabinets next to each other. Obviously, you wouldn't want to drill the holes in the same space or they would meet. So in the center cabinet, I pushed the jig back a little bit. That way, they're just offset maybe a half inch, three quarters of an inch. If you want to see how this project turns out, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. The inside of this cabinet is going to get painted white. The outside will have white oak veneer. And... Of course, it's going to have a few adjustable shelves. If you're looking for a good piece of furniture to build or a good woodworking project, I hope that you'll check out my website. I've got a ton of great plans over there, and they all have video tutorials right here on YouTube. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. If you would like my help building the furniture for your home, I hope that you'll visit my website at johnpeters.com and check out my furniture project plans. With the large variety of projects, and links to the video tutorials right here on YouTube, I know that you'll find something that will inspire you to spend more time in the shop and build something beautiful for your home.